y'all. I was getting ready for work this morning, and I decided I would film a tutorial for you guys. I showed you how I finished my face. I already moisturized it in the video, so I showed you how I put on my foundation and stuff. And also this eye look, which is really, really pretty. The main color I used was from this Wet n' Wild palette called Knock on Wood. And it's this deep um, burgundy right here. It's so, so, so pretty. So I hope you guys enjoy this look, and if you want to see how I do it, just keep on watching. The first thing you want to do, as always, is prime your lids, and for that I'm using the NYX High, Defini High Definition Base. I really like this stuff. It's very creamy, very comparable to the Urban Decay Naked, or Urban Decay, um, Primer Potion. It's very creamy and pretty. Just rub that all in, all over your eyelid. And the next color we are going to take is actually from the Wet n' Wild Knock on Wood Palette. And you're going to take the color that says eyelid right there and put that all over your eyelid. Be very careful. This is a very pigmented color. So a little bit will go a very long way. As you can tell, I barely touched that to my eyelid. And as always, when you get to the crease, turn your brush sideways and blend it up a little bit. Just like so. The color you're going to take is with a little crease brush that looks just like this. This is just the Sonia Kashuk one. And we are going to take, you can either take Naked or Buck, which Buck is right here and Naked is right here. I'm going to take Buck today. My Naked's almost gone, so I'm trying to save it and only use it when I really, really need to. And what you're doing is just putting Buck right into the crease and blending out that um, wet and wild color to make it have no harsh edges. The next color I am going to take is Dark Horse, which is this deep, deep, deep shimmery brown. I'm just going to continue to use the same brush and concentrate this in the outer corner. Don't go all the way and go about halfway into your lid and then drag it down to make the little V. So just swirl, drag it up under your lid about halfway, and then drag it down. It's almost like you're making a C. Just curl it like that. Now you just want to take a big fluffy crease brush like this and blend it all out. And what I'm actually going to do now is optional, but it'll just make everything blend a little better. I'm going to take Soft Brown from MAC, get it right on that fluffy crease brush, and go right above where all the colors are and blend the tops of them and also blend the colors up to your brow bone. It'll give you a nice wash of color. Okay, for highlight today, we're going to be using another Wet n Wild color, and this is in the Grease palette. And we're going to take this color right up here, just a very pretty highlight color. Dip it right underneath your brow bone. This is a matte color. I prefer matte highlights most of the time. Sometimes I like to venture out and do shimmery ones, but for the most part, matte highlights are very foolproof. You can't go wrong with them, so that's why I enjoy them. Also put that same green color in your inner corners, which is just going to brighten up your inner corners. Then I'm going to go back and just blend once again. You can put more soft brown on the color on your brush if you would like. But that is just an option, and you do not have to. So the next thing we're going to do is take our Urban Decay Eyeliner Pencil, and this is in zero, and just line our bottom waterline. Be very careful when you're doing this that you don't hit your eyeball because it does hurt and I have done that plenty of times. So just line your water um your waterline. Then you are going to take um any eyeliner you want to line the top line. And I'm not the best at this, so bear with me. Hopefully this is in the screen.
I forgot to tell you what I was using. I am using the Stila Sparkle Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, which looks just like this. I really like it. It has a tiny bit of sparkle to it, which I think is kind of cool. Just like that. Then you're going to curl your eyelashes. I'm just using my e.l.f. eyelash curler as always. I love this thing for a dollar. Can't go wrong. I curl my eyelashes a few times because I like when they're really voluptuous and curled. Next I'm going to take my um, Voluminous by L'Oreal. It's in the gold container. And this is the fiber one, I think. Because I know there's the regular one and then there's the fiber one. And I think this one is the fiber one. Just wiggle it in like that. And then I'm going to take CoverGirl Lash Blast, Lash Blast and go on over that. I don't know if I can get it open. Just like that. Next, you need to put something on your bottom lash line. Well, you don't need to, but I like to. So I'm going to go back into the Naked palette. And I am actually going to take Buck and Smog and mix those together. So this one right here and this one right here. Those two. And the reason why I chose to add smog to this under here is because there's not a lot of shimmer on your eyelids. So underneath your waterline can be a little shimmery. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish my face. I already moisturized. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eye Eraser Dark Circle. Well, Dark Circle Eraser. Put that right underneath here. I guess you could have waited to do your under eye makeup until, I mean your, um under eye colors until after this, but that's okay because you're just cleaning up the mess and concealing those dark under eyes if you have them like I do. Next I'm going to take the Real Deal Concealer by Laura Geller and I am in shade medium. And I'm just going to conceal any spots I have and I'm actually breaking out quite a bit right now. So I have quite a few spots I would like to conceal the redness of. Is anyone else's skin breaking out like crazy right now? It must be the weather. Especially in Michigan. We're going from, like, cold and snowy. Like, the other day we had a snowstorm. And today it's supposed to be 48. So, yeah. I think my face is just a little confused. So, as you can see, the Real Deal Concealer by Lori Geller is an amazing product. It's covering up most of the redness. It doesn't cover up the bump itself, but I'm okay with that. So, next thing you're going to do is take your favorite um, face powder. Mine's the Laura Geller Balance of Brighton. And just go ahead and put this all over your face. Just like so. I'm not using a foundation today. Normally, I will use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Foundation. But my face is breaking out, and I don't want to pile too much stuff on there and just make it feel cakey or make my ha face have any other reason to break out today. So next you're going to take a blush. Which blush do I want to use today? The blush I'm going to use today is from the Nature's Paradise palette, which is a Pure Minerals palette. And it is this guy right here. Sorry, my um blush or my bronzer in the palette actually broke in one of my videos. So that is why I can't really lift it up to show you guys that great. So go ahead and find your apples in your cheeks, which you just smile. Just like so. 
And I'm just going to apply bronzer for the last touch. And for that, as always, as always, I'm using my Milani bronzer in number one light. Which looks just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and just take any um, powder brush, one that you haven't used yet today would be good, because you don't want any more product, and just blend it all out. I think today after work I'm actually going to run by Target to buy some e.l.f. brushes and Sonia Kashuk brushes, because they're cheap and work good. So that is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.